effort, heart, desire, strength of schedule. Everything goes into what these girls showed there tonight. They were ready for this game. Um, it goes all the way down from our water girls to our scout team, to our senior leaders, to our starters, to our coaches. Everybody prepared for them. Um, and, and I can't you – can, you can measure height, you can measure weight, you can measure a lot of talent, but you can't measure the heart and desire and determination that these Lady Tigers play with every game. And that's, that's something that they bring to the table every single day in practice. Do you there's obviously a lot of luck along the way, but uh, these girls, from the beginning of the season, I, I didn't know. I didn't know if we were mentally tough enough. Um, we kind of had a come to Jesus moment about halfway through the season, and I asked them if they just wanted to ride the coattails of the nine seniors from last year. And they pretty much in their actions told me no, and, and they turned it around the second half of the season and started playing some good basketball. And I felt like it's, it just keeps rolling right now. Jackie, sometimes when you play a team that shoots the threes, it's hard to rebound. You guys did a great job of pulling down those long rebounds. We did, and I think our, our length frustrated them on the threes, and we really got a hand up and they, they, from the beginning of the game. Um, they got frustrated on the three-point shot, and they couldn't get anything going. So, you know, our, our bigs are, are rebounding machines. This girl here, she's 5'9", 5'10", on a good day. And she just, she's a rebounding machine. She doesn't care how many points she scores. She doesn't care how many steals she gets. She comes to the bench and says, Coach, how many rebounds do I have? That's all she cares about. And, and, and that's what you call a team. Jackie, how was your defense able to slow down a team like Chippewa who's, you know, outran teams like all post You know, we, we saw them on film, but we had run against a lot quicker teams than what Chippewa what has run. And I thought we were even a better transition team than what they were. And so I really wasn't scared with that, with that game. I knew we could beat them up and down the court. Now, their, their little point guard likes to get up and down the court, but um, when you don't have the, the people ahead of you, it, it's kind of difficult. So I, I, did, I felt comfortable in the transition game. My worry was they'd get it deep and then kick out for the three, and they would be, they'd be on tonight. But um, that worked in our favor. Huh. Last two games, she's kind of big, isn't she? Um, yeah, she she's a, a big surprise for us in this postseason. Um, late, well, I really didn't hesitate in the last game to put her in. We couldn't because Krista was in foul trouble, so we had to go with our our what I felt was our best next offensive player inside. And uh, she just she stepped up to the plate, and she's a freshman, and I don't think she realizes the impact that she has on this team right now. Jackie, we saw Fort Laramie before you and then you guys out there. And it always seems to me that one of the biggest differences is the physical defense that you guys play in your area. Did you feel that tonight? Going and from, the for 32 minutes. I don't think we took a break for 32 minutes. There was, there was times where I thought we got a little sloppy. But I don't think we took a mental or a physical break for 32 minutes. And that's what we have to do in our area is just play basketball for 32. Talk about the rebounding earlier, and I'm looking at the stats. You out-rebounded them 34 to 23. You've got to be happy with those numbers. Very happy. I see two two players had 10 boards. So, I mean, it it's it's total grind is what it is. You know, you can't teach. It's hard to teach rebound. You can teach them to box out. You can teach them to get good position, but you can't teach them to go get the ball. And that's and that's what we do well. Um, I feel like I just, I get the box out and then I just realize like the time, it's most of the timing and then to get the ball. Laura, none of you girls were around in 2008 when you won your own time out. You were, struck me that you were so comfortable in the situation, in the spotlight, under the pressure that you were in tonight. You talk about how did you do? Um, you know, actually, this was the one game where I walked in and I didn't really have that much nerves, and I didn't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing. And I was like, okay, this better be a good thing. And when I got out on the floor, it was kind of like second nature. I think last year did a lot for me, just knowing what the floor was like. And I think that was a huge thing against us and that team is they've never been here before. They don't understand the atmosphere. And for us to have people that understand the atmosphere, it's a huge, a huge advantage for us. Well, you spent a lot of the night chasing coots around. <laughs> Tribute on offense. How tough is that to do both of those things? 
You know, it's just something that, like, the coach, that's what coaches look for. You, um, I knew that 22 was a great shooter. I watched film on her, and I, and I said before this game to Chris Sapotov, I said, I do not want her to get one three. Not one three. I don't, I don't care how it is. I'm getting my hands up, and I, I did not want to leave her side. And then whenever I, it, your defense always feels your offense. That's what people say. And I definitely think that I saw it tonight out there. Hey, Lauren, have you had a chance? Probably not. But to think about it, you've been on the state volleyball team, basketball runner-up, state volleyball final four again, and now state championship game in basketball. It's going to be really something neat to look at, isn't it? Oh, definitely. I, I just – Looking back on the past three experiences, I, I still get a huge smile on my face. And being out there and knowing that we make it back, it's just something so unreal. And I know so many people wish to be in our shoes right now, but I'm so grateful. I'm, I'm thankful for the conference we're in and the, the, the teams we play in the area and the coaches and the teammates. Like, without them, like, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be the player. We wouldn't get anywhere in these tournaments. Just a, I'm a numbers person. On our team with our 16 girls that are on our team, 15 girls that dress, 16 with Logan Shemp, 47, 40, there are 47 state appearances by these girls, in individually or team. And I just think that that plays a big role when you get to the postseason, when you get to this type of atmosphere. They know how to perform at, at the big stage. Matt, you talk about Candy coming out of the Unconscious. I mean, she doesn't know what she's doing. <laughs> she she has no idea. Like her and Danielle have no idea the impact that they have on this team right now, and the future that they have for themselves. Um, and, and that's what you want out of a freshman. You don't want their socks to be yellow. You want them to step up and play the way that they've played all season. Absolutely, absolutely, and that's kind of, that was kind of our game plan. That was kind of the way we talked it up all, all year, all, all week, was they've got all the pressure. We're going to play with a purpose. We're going to go out there, and we're going to give them our best shot. And really, these, these four seniors that I have beside me keep them loose. I, I don't keep them loose. They keep themselves loose. You guys led for almost 31 and a half minutes. How big was it to never turn on this game, never have to try to fight back? Hmm. Good feeling. <laughs> but you're never comfortable against a three-point shooting team. Tip City, yeah, Eaton. What kind, of, what kind of impact does that have, you know, at this point? Amazing. I mean, you just you can't you can't prepare for every team, but you can play almost every style of basketball you can in those first 22 games. And I really I've gone every year and said I don't care what my, our record is. We I don't care what the preseason record is. The the first 22 games. As long as we play our hardest, we, we learn from our mistakes. Um, there's so many things we learned from that Fort Laramie game that we, when we played Fort Laramie in, in overtime that I can remember, okay, if this happens again, this is what we're going to do. And I, I feel like every girl can say that as well from every game. How different has this year been? Not only did you lose a lot of players, but your coaching staff is... Yeah, it's a little bit different this year, been. yeah. But we, we complement each other very well. My brother left. But Jason Narn stepped in. You know, they're they're very similar coaching styles. Brian brings a lot of uh, intensity to the to the coaching staff, where I'm a little bit calmer. So it we complement each other very well. Lauren, coach made a comment a little bit ago about 47 state appearances for this bunch. It's been said a hundred times how the MAC. There's no conference in the state that can compare to the MAC. How do you feel about that? And how did play the MAC over the last couple three years in basketball? Prepare you for what's happening right now. You know, one, it's it's an honor to be in such a uh, skilled uh, conference, I should say. And you know, the, without the people like Minster and Marion, the state ranked teams, I honestly do not think that you could be as strong as a team. You know, you have great teams like Fort Laramie, like th just even the area teams that we get to play. That's our strength of schedule. It's it benefits us in so many ways, not just to get mentally stronger, but physically stronger in our game. So I think we're really thankful for that. Coach, did you expect to go nine deep in a game like this with this much riding on it? Yeah. If we, if we had to, we could. Yeah, I was not afraid to throw. I, I, I'd throw some more freshmen and sophomores in there if I had to. Um, they, know, they know the scout. They're running the other team's plays every single day. They know what they need to do. They hear it over and over and over again. And these girls up here, they, they include them on everything that they do. Um, you know, 
we'll run, we'll run, you know, the other team's offense, but we're always talking. Okay, where's 22? Where's 34? Where's 40? And it, it, it's just it bleeds down. We have one more day to prepare than we did last year. That's yeah. that's big. Um, that day in between to kind of get us um, rest, um, recuperation, a little bit of um, downtime, and uh, get back on the court on Saturday. Absolutely. Nothing. No, they're they're good. They're, well, we played Proctorville last year. We know them pretty good. Um, and then OG, you know, they're playing the same teams we're playing. Uh, just a little bit further north, so uh, we just we got to go out there and we got to play our game and and uh, and play not to lose. Okay, any other questions? Play to win. I shouldn't say play not to lose. Don't erase that. <laughs> play to win. <laughs> play to win. <laughs> what am I thinking? <laughs>